Good afternoon. It's another wonderful day. My name is Ibrahim Kirwa from Avocare Consultants Limited. We are really happy to visit our farmer in, uh, in Luamata, Chiboga. And uh, it's so unfortunate we got, it's the same, same problem we got in Jeru. It's the, it's the second episode, episode of it. So we had came to identify some of the trees he has on the ground. And uh, yeah, actually we have got around four varieties here. Variety number one, which we have got, we have got, yes, the original Astro to type. Variety number two, which we have got here, we have got uh, Fuete, which is there. Number three, we have got uh, Lamp Hass Avocado is here. And number three, we have got a Pinkerton. Number four, and we have got a Pinkerton here. So uh, actually, like, uh, there was a mix, a mixed variety, but it's better than episode one, where we really got some local varieties. Even here, there are only few, but they are less than 0.5 percent, which uh, it's not bad. Okay, now uh, here, if you can see this tree, uh, yes, there are two, uh, there are around some varieties of things which we are checking around this tree. Number one, the mode of planting. We have seen the topography of land is sloppy, so the way they planted it, yes, they planted it properly, but. The only problem, soil was brought near the grafting. I mean, it was accumulated. But uh, yes, if you can see, the roots really came up, uh, looking for the nutrients on the upper part, which is fine. But uh, soil, soil was accumulated around the, the, the tree. So uh, one effect of the soil accumulation around the tree, roots tend to come up looking for nutrients on the upper part. Number two, when you are pouring water, the tree will not be utilizing, it will be running because it's a mound which you have created around the tree. So that's why we are making this basin properly to make sure that when they are putting manure or either when they are uh, watering, the tree should be utilizing the nutrients and even the running water because the land is sloppy, the running water should be able to follow around the basin going outwards. You must make sure this ground is a bit loose. So and so you remember this side, this other side is very compacted. Eh? You can see this side. This side is very compacted. So you dig, loosen it. Even if the roots are there, it's because of uh, accumulation of soil which we had accumulated around the plant. So you make it loose. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, at least to penetrate. Don't worry about the roots, it's okay. You will rectify it. So that is it. You can see it's a bit loose now, even if you pour water or either you put manure, it will enter. So that is it. So this is the basin. All the trees should be like this. And then you put your manure here, like three spades. Cow dunk, not uh, goat's manure. Yeah, yes. Down. Goat's manure has high nitrogen. But when you put here and you pour water, it seeps, it goes, it disappears. But the cow dunk takes long. Because it has a lot of capillaries, when you pour water, it compacts. So when you put spade, uh, when you put three spades, you are creating a huge layer, where we say it will act as a mulch. At the same time, it will keep on releasing nutrients slowly. But the goat's manure, it will seep very fast. The one which is powder. But the solid ones, the round ones, it will take even two years to decompose. So that is the problem which we have with goat's manure. But otherwise, with nitrogen, it's high. It's recommended only for nitrogen, but remember, we we'll prefer more cow dung because we want to change the humus of the soil. Yeah. And then mulch, to act as a mulch. So that is it. And then we said that uh, we have different modes of planting. After digging a hole of two feet by two feet, you can backfill, return the soil inside the hole. But, uh, and then it, it comes up to the brim level of the surface of the hut, whereby you end up planting at that point. That's, we call it sunken. I mean the surface, surface planting. Then we have a sunken, sunken planting, whereby you fill the soil up to, up to a certain level and then you end up leaving like six inch from the, I mean, from, uh, from the base where soil has stopped to, to the surface of, uh, of the ground. So that one, when you plant that one, you will have something we call sunken. So it means when water, when, when it rains or either when you are pouring water, it will be stagnating inside there and that one is very dangerous. It can kill the plant. Then number three, we have a overhead planting, whereby you, you, you bring the overhead is same as mounting, whereby you bring around, you backfill the hole until it passes the surface around two feet above the ground. 
Then you create a size of your planting bag uh, around that mold. Then you plant. When it will rain or when, when you are watering, it will sink a bit. It will come back to, uh, I mean, one feet above the ground. Remember, you had already accumulated soil two feet above the ground. But now when you plant, it will go back to one feet. So that one, you can create the basin, something like this, which we have created. And it will be, uh, it will be, it will be, it will be of importance to your plant. Your plant, number one, it will utilize water. Number two, aeration will be fine because it's above the ground. So when you pour water, it will be seeping out. So you will not be having that stagnation. Uh, number three, the basins. We say this basin has its own importance. It's not only just creating just. Number one of uh, importance of the basins, the basin is this thing which we have created. Should be one feet, one foot, one foot, one foot uh, round. So it has its importance. Importance number one, when you pour water, 10 liters of water here, it will, uh, I mean, it will, be, it will be distributed equally to the roots. And uh, you, are, you will not be losing water. The tree will be, you, it will be utilizing whatever it needs. The excess will seep away. Number two, it acts as a uh, feeding trough for this tree. You put manure here, well decomposed dry manure you put around on this and uh, the tree will, will be utilizing through nutrients. It will be uh, released slowly. When you water, it releases the nutrients slowly. Number three, the manure which you have put around this basin, it will act as a mulch for this tree. You don't have to bring a dry matter or either dry things you come and put here for mulch. The cow dung which we had put here between three spades and above, it will act as a mulch. Number four, assume the topography of the land. This land is sloppy, the way you are seeing it. So uh, having the basin around, when there is a runoff of water, it will not be coming to accumulate here. It will be running around the, the tree. So those are the importance of the basins. And uh, those are the things which we really need to put into consideration before you do planting of as avocado. Number four is to make sure that you don't bury the grafting union. It's very important. This is the grafting union. It was buried a bit, but now we have opened it. It becomes an entry point for pathogens and the tree can die uh, within a short period of time. But now since we have opened it, it will work. And remember, we had talked about that the tree avocados does not grow on taproot. Taproot is for stability. Taproot is for looking for water under the ground, but this tree tends to grow on feeder roots. These are the feeder roots. They are only six inch or 30 centimeter, just six inch above the, above the ground. So this is it. This tree tends to grow on these feeder roots. So they are very important to make sure that you feed, the, you feed your, your crop through these feeder roots. Thank you so much. That's all for today. And we will take you uh, across more of the things which we are yet to find out. We will have to tell you what is the difference uh, to know about the ass avocado, the true to type, lamp ass, and then we tell you the pinkerton and we tell you the fuete. So thank you, and even local variety. So thank you so much. Keep on keeping on with us. We will take you through. Thank you.